Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. Today I've got a quick first impressions, although it's not on this knife. This knife is how I wanted to introduce this. This is a favorite knife of mine, the Lion Steel M4. I've talked about it repeatedly in many, many different videos. And often when I bring up this knife and how much I enjoy it, someone in the comments will mention the knife that I actually want to share with you today. So let's move that guy out of the way and bring in the Lion Steel B35. This was a knife that has been highly recommended, highly requested by you guys as viewers, largely because of my love for the M4. And so I was finally able to get my hands on one. This one came from DLT Trading, and I did quite a bit of looking online to find one, and D DLT has some really, really nice prices on Lion Steel, about the most competitive out there. In fact, I think in many cases it beats my price from other places with uh, the discount. Not always, but uh, certainly a good price over there. Uh, so use my link and that will help the channel and it also helps you because it's a pretty decent deal. So uh, this is the knife we're looking at. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown here. All right, so Lion Steel B35. I'm going to say, I, mean, I would characterize this as uh, a Lion Steel M4 that kind of lost a bit of weight. Um, it's just a little slimmer, a little... I don't know, it's not as much, yeah, I mean, most of the same utilities there, I think similar design philosophy and even purpose, but just a little bit slimmer in all regards, okay? So, a uh, quick run, quick rundown on the specs. This guy is eight inches overall. The blade length is going to be three and a half inches. Handle length is four and seven sixteenths. Three quarters of an inch grip area, 4.6 ounces for the knife alone. And when you add the sheath into that, sorry about that guys, when you add the sheath into that, it's going to add another 2.1 ounces. So let's throw the sheath in there just so you can take a look. Okay, so knife, knife and sheath together is gonna be a little over six ounces. Um, now, let's go ahead and give you a quick rundown on the features, having given you the size and weight of this knife. All right, so this guy is going to be uh, full flat ground, Sleipner steel blade, pretty thin behind the edge, nice little finger toil there. I don't know if you guys saw the spider just wander through the frame. That was kind of interesting. Um, I like this blade quite a bit. Full flat grind versus the mostly full flat, flat grind on the M4 is notable. Blade stock on this is like 5 16 so just a hair over an eighth of an inch. Nicely crowned spine all the way along, and that continues through the tang both back and front. So very, very comfortable in hand. Just nothing, you know, no hot spots, no sharp edges. My Carta handle on this one, there are a number of handle options. You can see the Torx construction there holding those scales on. So if you needed to take them off or change them or whatever, uh, you could do that. There are also, again, you know, typical line steel stuff. There's my Carta, there's a number of different woods, uh, G10 and, you know, probably, two colors of G10, often they do orange and black. I can't say for sure on this one, but that's pretty typical stuff. Getting the sheath in here, it's a fairly, again, typical lion steel sheath like what we've seen on the M4 and on the B41. Very, very nicely hand done, uh, attractive leather sheath. Now, would I prefer a Kydex sheath? Of course I would, yeah, I'm always gonna say that. But again, if you're carrying this outdoors and really even to, to put this on your belt in an attractive leather sheath, it's not that big of a deal. So I can kind of forgive it, especially considering most of the time for carry around town as a true EDC, I'm gonna be carrying a folding knife. This is more for when I know I'm gonna need something a little more substantial when I'm outdoors, that kind of stuff. So I don't hate the idea of a leather sheath, although if I was looking for a true dedicated EDC fixed blade, one of my requirements is generally a Kydex sheath for that role. All right, what are my initial thoughts on this? Well, as I kind of mentioned at the beginning, my first impression when I got the knife in hand, when I first like took it out of the box and started kind of checking it out, was that it was just a, a slimmed down, version of the m4 and although that's not i'm oversimplifying for sure guys but if you've got an m4 and you just wish it were like a little less bulky the b35 is probably perfect 
I am going to spend some time comparing these side by side, carrying this, using it, and seeing how I how it stacks up. And I will do a full comparison between the two. In the meantime, I think this is a great standalone knife. Really, really nice size. Really, really attractive. You know, this is a high quality fixed blade that you could, you know, this this is like heirloom quality stuff. And Lion Steel tends to do a great job with this. And I've said this again and again. Um, I'm really becoming more and more of a fan of Lion Steel fixed blades. I think what they deliver for the price point that they hit is absolutely fantastic. So there you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on my initial thoughts on the Lion Steel B35. I'm looking forward to getting to spend some time with this to do some cutting tasks with it because I really, really like the look of it and the feel in hand. So it uh, should be an enjoyable knife to use. And I'll come back to you with a full review in a little bit of time. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.